Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back with another video. Uh, I know it's been a couple weeks since I made my Songs of the Week number whatever it was. <laughs> I don't even remember. It's so late at night I can't really get my thoughts right. <clears throat> but uh, this isn't going to be another Songs of the Week video. I'm not going to release another one of those until probably later on in the week, maybe over the weekend. Uh, instead, uh, since everyone's been hyping the new Breaking Benjamin single... Uh, called Red Cold River and the new album Ember that comes out in April. I figured that I would make a video entitled My Top 10 Favorite Breaking Benjamin Songs of All Time. Now, this was a very hard list for me to do because um, I like pretty much everything that Breaking Benjamin does. Uh, with, there's probably a couple of exceptions, but not many. Uh, it was really hard for me to narrow this down to just 10 songs, but I did the best I could. And I've, I've got five honorable mentions that I'd like to mention real quick. That would be Angels Fall, Until the End, So Cold, Polyamorous, and Ashes of Eden. Those are all wonderful songs. And uh, like I said, it was really hard for me to exclude those out of the top 10 list. But uh, without further ado, let's get started with number 10, and it's the song No Games. It's from their 2002 debut album, Saturate. Now, what I like about this song is how it starts out. I like how it starts off really mellow with some uh, a cool drum beat, a cool guitar riff, and I like how Ben's vocals are very, uh, very soft, very melodic, and... Uh, it's just a, a really great song. Um, I don't really have too much to say about it other than I think you guys should check it out. It's very. It's, I, I, I will say this. I think it's one of Breaking Benjamin's most underrated songs of all time. And it's, it's just a really good song. Uh, ben, like always, he puts his heart and soul into anything that he does. And this song is no exception. And number nine is Had Enough, and this is from the album Phobia that came out in 2006. Now, Phobia is one of my favorite um, Breaking Benjamin albums. It's not my favorite of all time. That would be Dear Agony. But uh, Had Enough really um, talks about how, you know, you'll come across someone who thinks that they absolutely have to have it all, and that um, it doesn't matter how much in life that they get. They can have everything and be on top of the world, but they still want more. Like like the line says, you greedy little bastard. And that's exactly what, well, I'm just going to say it. That's what, in my opinion, a lot of people in the world are, greedy little bastards. They always want more and more and more. And I think this song sums it up perfectly. It's got a great, great guitar riffs, great vocals by Ben Burnley, like always. And uh, you can really hear the anger, the anger in his voice as he's uh, singing these lyrics. Um, it's a really great song, and I uh, another one that I highly recommend you check out. Number eight, we have "Dance with the Devil," and this is also from the album Phobia. Now. Uh, what I really like about this song is the imagery that it gives off because the more that you listen to this song, the more that you can actually picture yourself dancing <laughs> with the devil. I know that sounds kind of morbid, but it's the truth. Um, and, and I've said this before and I'll say it again. That's what I love about music. I love imaginative lyrics that can, can really incorporate you into what you're listening to. And I think Dance with the Devil does that. Uh, really well. Uh, I like how it doesn't start off with a, uh, um, what am I trying to say? I like how it doesn't start off with the traditional, um, guitar riff right away. I mean, it has a little, uh, riff at the beginning, but then you hear Ben's vocals come in, and then it just turns into this, uh, rocking song that really gets stuck in your head the more that you listen to it. Um, it's another, it's another great song by Breaking Benjamin, and another one that I highly recommend. And number seven, 
we have Lights Out, and this is off my favorite album by them, Dear Agony, which came out in 2009. Uh, Lights Out, hey, you want to talk about a song to listen to when you're pissed off or in just a bad, angry mood in general, this is the song for you, I would say. Um, <laughs> I mean, the lyrics say it all. Um, about how want, wanting uh, wanting to put someone's lights out and how you know they're not really worth anything. They're not worth their time. And it, it's like I said, it's just a really great song to listen to when you're pissed off and angry. I don't really have anything else to add to that. It's just another song that I highly recommend. I'm trying to not let myself go too long here. Uh, like I said it's really late at night and I'm. Just trying to get through this as fast as I can. And number six, we have Crawl, which is also from Dear Agony. Now, this is one of the, um, in my opinion, the most, one of the most emotional songs that Breaky Benjamin's ever done, simply because of the, the raw emotion and the screams in the chorus, especially. Um, you, you can really feel Ben's, uh, his struggle, because, you know, he's talking about live, fight, crawl back inside. It's, it's like he's dealing with these all these inner demons that are trying to just, uh, you know, they're just trying to make him crawl back into his demons, and he's trying to live and fight his way out of it. And, uh, no, I, I mean, that's, that's another song that we can all relate to. We all have our demons. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> and yeah, it's just another great song overall. Another one that I highly recommend. Okay, number five, we have Home, which is off of their debut album, Saturate. Now, this song is very interesting because the lyrics resemble The Wizard of Oz. And I think that that's really cool. Um, it's it's not something that you really see a lot in music. You don't really see a lot of songs talking about a TV show or a movie or a book or a genre or something like that. And it's really cool how um, Breaking Benjamin uh, does this. I'm sorry if you can hear noise in the back. It's my it's my dog Bear making a lot of noise. I apologize. I don't know, he's somewhere, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, I really like how they they give off these imaginative Wizard of Oz-like lyrics, talking about ruby red shoes and a body of straw and a tin man. And it's just, <laughs> it's a very interesting song. You'll just have to listen to it to really see what I mean. I have no idea what he's doing back there. I really don't. Can you calm it down over there, please? Bear. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, back to the video. Number four, we have Dear Agony, which is the title track from Dear Agony. Talk about an emotional song. Wow, this is probably... Probably the... I, I, this is probably the most emotional song Breaking Benjamin has. I know that's debatable, depending on who you ask. But in my opinion, this is their most emotional song. Uh, talking about how, you know, I know it's about Ben's struggles with his this disease that he has due to his excessive drinking past, which is sad because I, I don't know if you guys know this or not. If you're new to Breaking Benjamin, then the the cover art for the album Dear Agony is actually a brain scan of... Uh, of Benjamin Burnley's brain, which that's, wow. Uh, when the album first came out, I actually didn't know that that's what it was. Uh, that was really interesting to find out. And he just talks about the struggles of, uh, you know, this disease that has overtaken him. And uh, it's a very heart-wrenching song to listen to, but it's, but it's really good. Number three... We have Follow, 
Uh, this is from their 2004 album, We Are Not Alone. The reason that Follow is my third favorite song is just because of how catchy it is. I love the opening riff, the dun 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 I mean, that, that's really catchy to me, and it's something that you can hum along to, and that, that chorus is what, <laughs> is what sells this song for me. Um, once again, it's very catchy, very uh, melodic, very... It, it, it's another song that'll get stuck in your head very easily the more that you keep listening to it. And it, it, it's just a really awesome song, and that's why it made number three on my list. Number two, you really didn't think this one wasn't going to be on there, right? Number two, we have Diary of Jane from their album Phobia. Yes, Diary of Jane is on this list. Uh, probably Breaking Benjamin's most recognizable and most overrated song, depending on who you ask. But I, I really like it. I love the opening riffs, I love the vocals, I love I love everything about this song. I don't care how overrated it might be or how overplayed it might be. It's just a, uh, a really good song and it, this is actually the song that got me into Breaking Benjamin back in the day so it will always hold a special place for me. And now number one, and this may surprise a lot of people, it may not. But my number one song is Without You, and it's off the album Dear Agony. Uh, I, I, I can't put into words how great this song is. And I don't think I'm overhyping or overanalyzing this at all. If you haven't listened to Without You by Breaking Benjamin, do yourself a favor. Stop what you're doing right now. Go find their album on Spotify or iTunes, whatever you have to do, and check out this song. And you'll truly understand why this is my top Breaking Benjamin song of all time. Okay, guys. Uh, enough rambling. I know I seem to say the same thing over and over again. I apologize. It's just I'm, I'm not a professional reviewer. I don't, uh, I don't know about chord progression and tuning. Uh, I, I don't have an instrumental bone in my body. Let, let, let me just say that. <laughs> but, um... But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. What were your uh, What are your top Breaking Benjamin songs? Uh, do you agree with my list? Do you not agree? You know, uh, like I said, leave a comment. Subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends about me. Uh, you know, if, if you guys think that I'm worth your time, uh, you know, let let people know about me. I want this community and this channel to grow, and for those of you who are here already, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I will, I will never forget uh, everything that uh, you guys have done for me, giving me shout outs, and just promoting my channel, it really means a lot to me. Anyway guys, that's enough rambling, uh, I will see you guys in the next video, take care.